Welcome to the AeroSpike monitoring console demonstration. In this demo, we're going to show you how to use the AeroSpike monitoring console, or AMC. To start with, you need, simply need to go to the URL uh, for the console. Uh, I've entered that in here, and we can now take a look at the uh, basic page. Uh, to log into the particular cluster that you want, you need to give it a seed node, and you can give it whichever one you want. And in this case, I'm going to give it uh, a cluster that I've just set up here. And you only need to give it a single seed node. You don't have to give it all of them. Uh, what will happen is that the monitoring console will go to the node and find out what are the other nodes connected to it. So in this case, we can see now that the RAM usage is at zero bytes. Uh, the the cluster usage is at zero bytes. We basically have an empty database. There are no alerts on this cluster and there's no read or write uh, activity. And if I scroll down, you can now see that uh, there are four nodes in this particular cluster. Uh, ones with uh, IP addresses ending in 31, 32, 33, and 34. Uh, and on the left-hand side here, you can see that the read rate and the write rates are both zero. If I continue down to the nodes section, We'll take a look at the individual nodes, uh, how much disk space they have, do they have visibility into the cluster, how much RAM is there, uh, how many objects are in this particular node, how many client connections are there, uh, how many migrates and uh, are incoming and outgoing. And what these mean is that there might be data being shifted from one node to another because there was uh, some change in the cluster state, uh, which means that there's some rebalancing going on. Now if I take a look at some of the details in one of the nodes, uh, there's some information here that's a little bit easier spelled out in terms of how many writes to the master or the, uh, the particular, the master for a particular record have there have been, uh, how many writes to replicas there have been, or the write prol as we call it, uh, and etc. So a lot of information is available here, and this can help you diagnose any issues you might have. I've now just started a loading of the data and you can see that the total amount of cluster RAM in, uh, in use has grown from 0 to 2.6 uh, gigabytes or so. Uh, the amount of disk space has also gone up. Uh, there's still no alerts uh, and there's no reads going on but we are loading data now at roughly 80,000 transactions per second per node uh, or a total of about 320,000. Uh, so as we load the data we'll start seeing all of these stats change, we'll start seeing more and more resources used. If I go down to the nodes right now I can also see uh, the stats for each individual node. So for uh, the dot three four node here uh, the amount of disk space uh, used is roughly 200, or sorry, roughly 8 gigabytes right now, and the total amount available on this disk is well over 200 gigabytes. So we have plenty of disk space left. Uh, the RAM amount use here in use here is uh, still well underneath the, the total limit for the amount of RAM, um, and etc. The object count will continue to increase, and these replicated object counts uh, basically means that there's two copies of the data, so this is going to be twice the number of unique objects, about 10 million each right now, and we're going to load this all the way up to about uh, 100 million unique objects, or a total of 200 million. Uh, the number of client connections is about 260 per node, and right now we have no migrations going in or going out, and that reflects the fact that there's no balancing going or rebalancing of the data going on. Now that I've had a chance to load up the data, let's take a look at where the monitor stands right now. Uh, we've got a little less than 12 gigabytes of RAM in use. There's still quite a bit of RAM free. Uh, less than 100 gigabytes of disk in use, uh, almost 800 gigabytes uh, free there, no alerts. And right now we're reading at uh, just under 50,000 transactions per second overall in the cluster and about uh, 2,500 transactions per second uh, in writes. If I want to, I can actually highlight a single node. So let's say that I just wanted to take a look at the read performance on node 31 here. Uh, I can unhighlight the others, and this will just show me the read rate for node 31, uh, which is sometimes very useful if you just want to take a look at one server because it's performing differently than the others. So now let me click these back in, and now we can take a look at the uh, stats for in an individual node. So if we take a look at number 34, 
there's the build version here, uh, which is version 2.6, matches with all the other ones. Cluster size is still 4. Again, this is an agreement uh, with all of the servers. Cluster visibility means that everyone is in complete agreement with not only the number of servers, but the exact identity of each. And the amount of disk and RAM in use is, is very uh, within reason. Total number of objects here is just under 50 million for most of them and just over 50 million for one, showing a very balanced distribution of data uh, of our 100 million objects. So keep in mind these are replicated, which means that 50 million uh, on each is going to be a total of 200 million uh, overall. Uh, and in terms of unique objects, that's 100 million. Number of client connections, we're sitting at just over 100 on each one of them. And the number of incoming and outgoing migrates are uh, still zero. Uh, so this is showing a very healthy, steady state cluster. I'm going to go ahead and kill one of the servers. And now immediately an alert comes up saying that node number 32 is down. And what has happened here is, if I were to take a look, the orange bar uh, still exists here. Uh, however, the green bar has now disappeared from the chart on the left-hand side uh, and uh, on the right-hand side as well. The other nodes have taken up the slack. Uh, because the uh, node has gone, one node has gone down, the other nodes now have to take up a lot more traffic in order to account for that. And you can see that they did it pretty much immediately. Now, at the same time, the amount of RAM in use has gone up, and that's simply because we have uh, three nodes now that need to transfer data back and forth to, to deal with um, the node that has gone down. So if I take a look at the node section of the data here, uh, node number 32 is down, it's showing red, and the number of uh, amount of RAM and the amount of disk in use is also increasing, and that's because it, the system is rebalancing all of the data. On the right hand side, you see that the uh, migrates incoming show you how many uh, partitions of data are coming in from other servers and how many are going out from this server. So this is basically a count of how many uh, partitions are going to be going out from the server and the migrates incoming are the ones that are in process coming in right now. So what will happen is as the number of migrates outgoing eventually fall to zero, uh, what that will tell you is that the system has completely rebalanced and we no longer have to do any more rebalancing. And we're almost at that level now. So let's wait for that to complete. And once these counts have gone down to zero on all of the nodes, the number of replicated objects will now be steady. So if we were to add all three of these numbers up, that would be 200 million, uh, which means that we actually have 100 million unreplicated objects. And the amount of disk space used and the amount of RAM used has gone up because we're, we're now splitting the data amongst three servers instead of four. So now let's go ahead and start up the new server. I'll basically, uh, it's basically emptied out because we've uh, gotten rid of all of the, the data on that existing node. But if I start it up, this simulates what happens when you're trying to add a new node to the system. So I'll go ahead and start it up. And let's take a look and see what happens. Right now, the cluster visibility turned red for just a second. And that means that the servers weren't in complete agreement on how many nodes there were in the cluster. They got together, had a vote, and decided, okay, there is a new member that we're going to bring in. Now the cluster size is showing at four. And now there are, uh, there's data coming out from uh, the three nodes that existed before and coming into the new one. And as the uh, counts come down, we'll eventually get to the point that we were at when we started this uh, demonstration. In short, the Aerospike Monitoring Console is a great way to quickly get any alerts on your cluster and to quickly diagnose and localize where any problems might be. Thank you very much.